Hello everyone. So today we're going to be talking about a very popular character in Marvel Comics, Beta Ray Bill. Now, Beta Ray Bill debuts in the Bronze Age of comic books. The character was initially intended to be a surprise, an apparent monster who unexpectedly turns out to be a great hero. Bill is the first being outside of the Marvel Universe's Norse pantheon to be introduced as a being worthy to wield Thor's hammer. Now after they have an initial rivalry with Thor for possession of the weapon, the alien warrior was granted a warhammer of his very own, and he called it Stormbreaker. Now after this, the two reconciled as staunch allies, going on to fight side by side in many battles. Now, Better Ray Bill is debuted in the Mighty Thor number 337 of November 1983, being established as an alien of the Corbinite race. Walt Simonson is the person that is given credit for Bill's creation. In the 1980s, a spy organization named S.H.I.E.L.D. detected an alien fleet passing through Earth's galaxy with director Nick Fury asking Thor to investigate this whole entire situation. Now when Thor finds out about this advanced ship, it scans Thor and perceives him to be a threat. This sentient ship, called Scuttlebutt, revives Better Ray Bill, who is in suspended animation. Bill battles Thor to a standstill until the ship reaches the solar system, where one of the mystical enchantments of Thor's hammer comes into effect which means that Thor will revert to his mortal persona of Donald Blake if separated from the hammer for more than 60 seconds. When that happens, Blake is knocked unconscious by Bill, who examines Blake's cane, which is actually the hammer's shell when Thor is in Blake's form. Now upon striking the cane, he receives Thor's power and a variant of his costume. Now, once Scuttlebutt arrives on Earth, Bill easily defeats an approaching S.H.I.E.L.D. team and is then transported to Asgard by the King of the Norse Gods, Odin, who mistakes Bill for Thor. Now, after some initial confusion, Odin returns Thor to Asgard and Bill's origin is revealed. Bill's race, the Corbinites, were almost rendered totally extinct when their galaxy exploded. The remnants of the Corbinite race fled in a fleet of warships guarded by a sentient ship called Scuttlebutt. Now via Corbinite science, Bill was physically augmented and given the attributes of an indigenous wild beast. Now Scuttlebutt attacks Thor because the ship recognized the Asgardian magic as similar to that of the previous global threat and assumed the Corbinites were being threatened once again. On discovering that Bill was worthy enough to lift the hammer, Odin proposes a battle to the death in a fiery Asgardian realm of Skartheim to decide who will wield the hammer. Bill and Thor render each other unconscious, and Bill's resistance to heat allows him to recover first. He is deemed the winner, but he also saves Thor from falling into lava, believing he is too worthy of an opponent to die. After Bill reconsiders his claim to the hammer, Odin orders making a new hammer for Bill, Stormbreaker, equal to power of Thor's hammer and is created from the same metal by the same dwarves led by Eitri. Odin also transfers an enchantment from Thor's hammer to Stormbreaker so that Bill can return to his original Corbinite form by striking Stormbreaker upon the ground. After learning that the mishap that killed most of Bill's people was caused by the fire demon Surtur, one of Asgard's most powerful enemies, Bill agrees to join the Asgardians in a war to stop Surtur and his armies. Surtur is eventually defeated, but apparently kills Odin when they both fall through a mystical portal. Now in the 1990s, Bill still remains a staunch ally of Thor and Asgard, before returning to a storyline involving a creation of Galactus, Tyrant, but also features the storyline Blood and Thunder, attempting alongside Adam Warlock, Thanos, and others to deal with the warrior madness of Thor through which he is trying to destroy the universe. Together with Thor, Bill joins the other versions of the Thunder God in the Thor Core against the Entity Demon Staff and has several cosmic adventures thereafter. Now later on, Bill participates in a battle between the heroes of Earth 
and several alien races such as the Kree, Shi'ar, and Xenox. And after several adventures with Thor, guest starring in the final storyline, when Thor, determined to end the perpetual cycle of death and rebirth, the Asgardians are trapped in, brings about Ragnarok. This, in North mythology, means the end of Asgard and all of its gods. Although Bill attempts to aid the Asgardians, Thor teleports Bill away as it's not his destiny to die in the Ragnarok event. Now Bill visits his people's homeworld where he's attacked by his insane predecessor, Alpha Ray, defeating him just as the cosmic entity Galactus and his herald Stardust arrive. Despite Bill's effort, Galactus consumes the world and almost kills him. Now during the secret invasion storyline, Bill is wounded and captured by the alien scrolls, who then bestow his hammer, Stormbreaker, on a warrior super scroll called the God Killer. Thor rescues Bill, although Loki starts a rumor that Beta may be a scroll, causing some Asgardians to go against him, despite Balder telling them to stop. Thor throws his hammer at Bill, who catches it, proving he really is Bill. After being nursed back to health, the character retrieves his hammer. Although the God Killer defeats him, with Thor's help, he tricks the God Killer, causing Asgard to fall into it, killing the scroll. Thor and Bill then raise the city once again. Now Bill decides to hunt the cosmic entity Galactus to avenge the destruction of the Corbinites, second homeworld, and the seeming eradication of his species. After a brief confrontation with the Herald of Stardust, Bill is intercepted by the Silver Surfer, who is quite puzzled by the Corbinites' apparently futile quest to destroy Galactus. Bill explains that while he understands he cannot hope to destroy Galactus, he intends to destroy Galactus by annihilating any and all worlds Galactus seeks to feed from, thus starving him to death. Bill's obsession with stopping Galactus eventually results in him being unable to lift his own enchanted weapon, an object that can only be welded by the worthy. Equipped with alien weapons, Bill finds Galactus, but discovers the entity already is under attack by another race. In a moment of conscience, Bill saves Galactus. The grateful entity rewards Bill by creating a Corbinite mate for him, and Bill also regains the ability to wield Stormbreaker. Now later on, due to a misunderstanding, a battle between Bill and a cosmically powered All-Father Thor results in Stormbreaker being destroyed. Now to compensate for the loss of Stormbreaker, Thor appoints Bill as an advisor and allows him unrestricted access to Asgard's armory. Now Bill falls into a depression as Stormbreaker's destruction prevents him from transforming back into his unaltered Corbinite form. After suffering numerous defeats without his powers, Bill departs Asgard on Scuttlebutt to search for a replacement. Bill encounters Odin, who is unable to provide Bill with a weapon that can fix his transformation, but cautiously suggests Surtur's resurfaced Twilight Sword as a suitable replacement. Bill and his allies venture to the deepest level of Mispelheim, where Bill claims Twilight and uses it to slay Surtur and revert to his unaltered form. Now as far as powers and abilities go with Better Ray Bill, Better Ray Bill's life force and consciousness were transferred by scientists of his race into a body of an alien that is carnivorous and equine-like that had been bionically restructured into a cyborg, courtesy of highly advanced genetic engineering and cyborg implants. Better Ray Bill possesses vast superhuman strength, speed, stamina, and durability, and a highly extended lifespan. And his combat prowess is such that he was able to fight with Thor, noted as one of the best hand-to-hand -hand fighters in the Marvel Universe, to a standstill. Stormbreaker also has the same properties as Thor's hammer and includes the ability to transform into a cane when struck upon the ground and return Bill to his unaltered Corbinite form. Now after Stormbreaker's destruction, Better A Bill replaces it with the Twilight Sword which can generate the flames of Muspelheim. Twilight also has the ability to return Bill to his unaltered Corbinite form. This character needs to be in all Thor comics and he is a wonderful addition to all of the Thor mythos. That's what we know of Better Ray Bill. If you like what you hear, please like, share, and subscribe. We really do appreciate that. And if you have any characters that you'd want us to talk about, leave that down below. As always, Excelsior.